Let's break down how Khabib almost knocked out Conor McGregor. Oh, not that, whoops. Within the first 20 seconds of the fight, Khabib shoots for a takedown. Whether he gets the takedown or not, he has established the threat of the takedown early in the fight. Not only is this a physical threat, but the mental threat may linger in his opponent's mind as Connor knows that Khabib can and will shoot for it. What he doesn't know is when. Notice the level change in Khabib's head positioning during his takedown. There's a visible drop or dip of Khabib's head when he's shooting in. He will use this head movement as a setup later on. Connor immediately recognizes the level change. He lowers his hands and attempts to land a knee when Khabib closes the distance. The angle of McGregor's knee allows him to sprawl, whether or not he lands clean with it. McGregor does a great job at defending the takedown by staying in constant motion, but Khabib is relentless and finishes the takedown anyway. He uses his grappling to secure McGregor tightly, constantly adjusting his position to be where he wants and to get McGregor where he wants him to be. Khabib does this over the course of the whole round in order to, one, wear on McGregor and make him carry his body weight to fatigue him for the later rounds, and two, land ground and pound strikes on McGregor. These two options establish the consequences of the takedown. This gives Connor more to think about. If he's focused too much on defending Khabib's game plan, he may take away some focus from executing executing his own. In round two, Khabib feints with his head. Notice the level change on his head and his body. Both lower slightly, as if he were going to shoot for a takedown like he did in round one. Similar to round one, Connor quickly recognizes the head motion. He anticipates a takedown attempt and lowers his hands from his guard, preparing to defend the takedown. With lowered hands, he makes it easier for himself to employ options, like sprawling or hand fighting for overhooks and underhooks. In round one, Khabib targeted McGregor's lead leg for the takedown, using a similar level change of his head and body. But in round two, Khabib fakes the takedown with his level change and his head movement and throws an overhand right. When the overhand is on its way to impact, notice how Connor is looking in front of his own lead leg in anticipation of the takedown. With his hands lowered and his vision away from the punch, he was predicting Khabib to have been shooting for his leg. With the opening that Khabib's misdirection caused, Khabib's overhand lands on the mark and off balances McGregor. This goes to show how powerful the threat of Khabib's takedown and grappling was. In round one, Khabib's head feint and level change led to a takedown. On the ground, he smothered Connor with heavy pressure and landed ground and pound strikes. At the start of round two, Khabib's ground and pound was fresh in Connor's mind, as he just experienced it moments ago in round one. Wanting to avoid a repeat of round one, he would look again to defend the takedown. By faking the takedown, Khabib creates and capitalizes on an opening when Connor looks to defend, and landing a massive strike. It's a small movement, but it still got the job done in the small moment where McGregor's attention was focused elsewhere, on a takedown that never came. Let us know what we should break down next.